Hello, Chris. Hello. <laughs> so what are we doing today then? Uh, right, today we are... Um, today we are, uh, as you can see, we've lifted um, two sidings. We've lifted diesel sidings and uh, half of them are carriage sidings. Um, reason being is we had two, set, uh, two medium radius points there. Not really uh, enough room for medium radius, medium radius points on the sidings. So um, what we're doing eventually, when I found them, because I've put them down somewhere out the way they are, we're going to replace them with um, these. There's going to be two sat track points there, and um, when I found one the right way around, there'll be another one there as well, and then one there. Possibly. There's some in the box there, Chris. Yeah, so, uh, so we're going to have. Instead of just having the one carriage side in here, there'll be one, two, three, and then a diesel side in here. And that diesel side will probably have another spare off it there, possibly if there's room um, for oil storage or for one of my shunters to sit on. But we'll see if there's enough room for that. Pardon me, when, we're, uh, when we've got all this stuff up. Unfortunately, it's proven to be a bit difficult because uh, in my infinite wisdom uh, last year, I thought I'll create some hard standing by gluing card down. Um, big mistake because it's proven to be a bit of a nightmare to get up. So uh, we're just trying to get this bit of ballast on these bits of card up um, with sharp knives without digging too much into the cork. And uh, then we'll see in a bit what uh, what we've done. So uh, cool. So we'll, crossed. we'll get cracking. Yeah. Right. So we're back. Yes. Hello. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so um, <laughs> we've just put these points sort of in place now. This is how they're sort of going to look. Um, so we're going to have another siding here, taking in place this one I've just pulled up. Um, another siding there, coming down this side, down to here. And this here will be the diesel sidings again. We'll have an isolating section in both tracks so we can fit four locos in. Um, I've just got four, lo four locos now in the D5 in the diesel area. Um, and we'll probably have as well um, this one here as a uh, little bit of an aside. So there'll be uh, a spare here for the oil tankers for the fueling point or or whatever. Or we may just have a third side in there. We don't we haven't decided it yet. Or maybe a, f a fourth one like that. But we've, like I said, we've not decided yet. Um, We'll work that out when we come to it. It's always nice to make most of the uh, the room in the shed. The space um, available, yeah. Di this, this bit just here was just dead space um, until this morning. It was just a place to store my knives and glue and screwdrivers and other bits of crap that I wasn't using. So uh, hopefully we can make good use of that. Cool, you might as well throw that other point in. Well, that one. Oh, there's two. You might throw the next one in. There we go. Um, Locos, <laughs> extra loco I, storage. I haven't got that many locos, but um, possibly. <laughs> you got all mine at the minute, possibly. Yeah. Well, that's uh, these are ones we can maybe use at some point. Cool. But, uh, we might use this here and uh, and there just to create um, longer sidings here because this siding, as you can see, isn't really long enough for more than three coaches, and this one here isn't really long enough for more than four. Um, we run the majority of trains as five coaches, that's going to be found in that, so if we take those two points out then uh, we replace them with these. I'm not too happy about this bit here, but we'll, we'll see when we've laid these how much room we've got, because we're creating an extra siding for another eight coaches anyway, so uh, we'll, cool. see. Pardon me, we'll see in a bit how it looks. Cool, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> so look straight. So we are just lined up the first uh, first bit of track. Yeah, we're not sticking it down yet. We're just, um, just marking this card here so we can uh, roughly, so we know how much we we actually need to cut away. Just to make um, just to save us a bit of a job, really. Yeah, this so card's proving pretty difficult to get up. It's pretty damn tough. The, uh, it's, it's stuck down with copy decks and 
so it doesn't lift well, it just starts tearing. So Chris had a good idea, which involved a knife, so that's always a good idea. Ruining buffer stops. I think these are your old buffer stops, aren't they, these red ones? Oh, I see, yes, blame, blame <laughs> me. They're not being stuck down yet because I'm extending that side in a little bit. Same as the others. So, <coughs> so, as you can see, this is very difficult to get up. But, you figured that we only need to do little bits of it. Tidy layout. <laughs> Which, yeah. T tidy layout, he says. Tidy layout, tiny mind. <laughs> That's better. Yes, you come. So we'll carry on doing that. And uh, we'll see in a bit. So uh, we're ready. Well, we're just starting to lay the track now. Yes. And copy decks going in. <laughs> so this is. Uh, we had a sign in here before that was good, big enough for uh, five coaches. It'll still be long enough for five coaches, possibly six. Um, we need to put enough copy decks down just to. Get the track down. And, uh, Bob's your uncle, then. <coughs> mm hmm. Funny, so, funny as your aunt. Chris, uh, Chris has just been saying that uh, he's going to use surface point motors. Yes, that's correct. Uh, for this. So, we get some of the uh, now familiar drawing pins. So, before we got to this point we uh, we tested electrically tested yes, this we've, uh, we've tested this point this point this is fine point. so we know we've got power all the way and uh, this is well pretty much the track coming off of little hampton yes, <laughs> it's so now going down so here so BR have lifted this track uh, for use <laughs> elsewhere uh, in sidings mainly so we're just gluing this sign down I'm just making sure that, that, that it's square. Oh, that's difficult to push in. This is the address to the bishop. <laughs> so, uh, you know, be used to this by now. So, the track doesn't have to be spot on because it's only sort of sidings. So, you look at most signs on the, on the proper railway, They're, they are laid to some sort of standard, so stuff doesn't keep derailing. but it's also not, you know, it's not made to like high speed mainline standards. Because it doesn't need to, it just needs to be laid cheaply and quickly. So this is going to be the extent of the track in this siding. So we're just not put extra pins down. Mm. What we just need is just to get the track to stick. So we've done our best to clean the points up. Yes. And uh, it's when I took them off of uh, my layout, I just chucked them in a box. I didn't really care too much about them. So we've cleaned them up using a fiberglass pen and made sure the blades are all clean and for good electrical contact. Yeah. So now we're just adding more um, pins. You know, we've, we've laid track before, so. Uh, we were showing with the video before when we made the track. Yeah. Just to, just to make the, the the sleepers give good contact with the glue. Yep. So it all dries nice and nice and solid. Cool. Okay. Well, I, don't, I guess there's no point filming any more of this because it's no. just you pushing drawing pins in. So yes. We'll come back later. So we're back. And yes. Uh, so we've, uh, we've we've finished putting the sides down. The diesel shed is only test fitted for now, um, just for clearances. That's. It looks like a tight clearance, it is, but there's just enough room for a carriage or a local piece of stuff to go around. That's only going to be used for oil tankers or um, shunter storage there anyway. So uh, that's that moved. We've pulled most of the card up here, and most of the glue, and um, more carriage signs. 
I'm intending eventually to have um, a carriage shed here or here or over some of these tracks um, or a massive carriage shed uh, we haven't decided yet but um, all of these tracks they should take five carriages each and uh, these here we'll leave as, as they are now we were going to experiment with the, the layout of the points here and move them around a bit but I think it looks I think it's fine as it is yeah, yeah. yeah. it'll just over complicate things I think and uh, we'll leave it as is for now so it's looking good over there now, Chris. Yeah, thanks. How are you? I think it is also. So you've got, what, six point motors you need for down there now? Um, in total, we'll need um, 12 for this whole area. 12 new ones? 12, 12 new point motors, yeah. So the majority of them are going to be surface mounted um, point motors that go on the side, like we've got various places uh -huh. on the layout already. Um, Mainly because some of them are over baseboard joints and it's a bit too much of a board ache to, uh, to stop messing about drilling holes. Now the glue down is too late anyway. So uh, there's not that much of a problem with it. I'm struggling to get this all in actually. With the, uh... Yeah, there is a lot, isn't there? I don't know if I start taking photographs of this in a bit. And, uh... Yeah, it's looking really good now. It's uh, made use of that dead space that you had over, yes. over there. Seems to find somewhere else to stick all my rubbish now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's next then? What's what's planned um, next? Next is um a good question. It all depends on time and money. Um we're still waiting to buy an ash plant to go over. Uh for down uh, where are the A4 down there. Workshop, yep. yeah, down there. Yep. When we've done that we can finish the shed area off. Um we've got some grey paint up here for uh painting the track with or the track base, uh the cork. Just the same colour as uh, ballast, so yep. that can paint that. And we've got some dark coloured, charcoal coloured paint to paint the polyfiller when it's dry um, and finished. And then uh, we can make some <coughs> ballast in the shed area and maybe doing some back scenes and some, and some scenery at some point. Yeah. So uh, it's looking, yeah. it's looking good. So what's going there then, where those pliers are, those track um, cutters? Nothing. Nothing. No. Ah. It'll just be waste ground weeds, maybe. Heaps of ash or ballast or something. And those fuel tanks are moving down, are going down there. Down here yeah. somewhere. Eventually, um, I'll put them probably there. Yeah. And uh, there'll be some space for some oil tankers for the loco fuel. We were going to have just a not bother with the diesel depot, but as I bought this, like I said, um, we thought we'd do it. Yeah, uh, modern building. Yeah, as opposed to the. Uh, the Victorian shed building. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Cool. Cool indeed. Right, I guess we'll uh, run some trains for a bit. <laughs>